Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to start with Unit 3, History of Literature. We're going to focus on the reading skill. So, if you're ready, let's get started together. Literature History of Literature Let's start with a preview. What kind of books do you prefer reading? What does literature mean? What are examples of literature? Are you interested in literature? Why? Now let's start with the reading. Page 29 Vocabulary Acquainted 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 Literary genres Literary genres Literary genres Prose 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 Poetry, poetry, poetry. Drama, drama, drama. Epic, epic, epic. Anglo-Saxon 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 Norman Conquest Norman Conquest Norman Conquest Beowulf 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 Witseth 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 Germanic 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 Transition, transition, transition. Oral phase, oral phase, oral phase. Turning point, turning point. Turning point Pagan 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 Encountered 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 Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. Alliteration, alliteration, alliteration.
bureaucrat, 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 courtier, 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 diplomat, diplomat. Diplomat. Diverse. 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 Pilgrimage. 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 Canterbury. Canterbury, Canterbury, credited, 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 demonstrate, demonstrate, demonstrate. Legitimacy, legitimacy, legitimacy. Vernacular, vernacular, vernacular. Anonymous, anonymous, anonymous. Now let's start with the article. Origin of English literature. Literature comes from the Latin word litera, which means acquainted with letters. It includes literary genres like prose, poetry, and the drama written in English. The first examples of English literature were written in Anglo-Saxon language, which is the source of English speaking. Almost all men of letters accept that English literature begins with Beowulf and belongs to the Germanic traditions of the Anglo-Saxons. The main point of the Old English is the oral tradition, without written works ending with the Norman conquest, a turning point in British history to the middle of the 11th century, the transition from the oral phase to the written one. With the closing of the Old English period, the middle one begins. Many of the poems of the old period are pagan, in particular Witseth and Beowulf, the greatest English poem. Beowulf is the first English epic whose author is anonymous. It is a story of a brave young man in 3182 lines, which is a very important poem in the Old English period because it gives an interesting picture of the life and practices of ancient days.
The difficulty encountered in reading old English literature lies in the fact that the language is very different from that of today. There is no rhyme in old English poems. Instead, they used alliteration. Middle English period This period helped to shape English literature's framework and produced many literary products. Geoffrey Jolter, born in London between 1340 and 1344, was the greatest creator of Middle English literature. He was an English author, a poet, a philosopher, a bureaucrat, courtier, and a diplomat. He is also referred to as the father of English literature. Since he wrote many works, he is best remembered for his unfinished frame narrative, The Canterbury Tales, in which a diverse group of people recount the stories to pass the time on a pilgrimage to Canterbury. He is sometimes credited with being the first author to demonstrate the artistic legitimacy of the vernacular English language rather than French or Latin. Now let's answer question A. Read the text and mark the highlighted words with their meanings. Acquainted Pagan Anonymous Rhyme Alliteration Legitimacy Vernacular The fact of being allowed by law or done according to the rules of an organization or activity. Legitimacy Familiar with something because you have read or seen it. Acquainted relating to religions or beliefs that differ from the main world religions. Pagan Unknown by name Anonymous a strong regular repeated pattern of sounds. Rhyme The use of the same consonant at the beginning of each stressed syllable in a line of verse. Alliteration A form of a language that ordinary people use. Vernacular Question B. Answer the following questions. What is the word literature derived from? 
Literature comes from the Latin word litera, which means acquainted with letters. Name some of the genres in literature. Prose, poetry and drama. Which language is considered the source of spoken English? Anglo-Saxon's language. How did the Old English language begin? It began as an oral tradition without written works. Why is Beowulf considered an important poem in English literature? Because it gives an interesting picture of the life and practices of ancient days. What is the important title that Josa holds? He is referred to as the father of English literature. That's everything for today. Hope you like the lesson. See you next time.